brings me to the peak Good start. As soon as I started this, the camera decided to turn off. Um, yep, and it's going all fuzzy and it's doing all this nonsense again. Oh, what a start. What a start. This camera is being very reliable yet again. Not the first time, is it? But um, yeah, obviously, we're back again for, for the Hatter Show. Uh, obviously, episode 54. And uh, yeah, obviously, we'll be reviewing. The Swansea game, which was a win, a very good win. Me and my dad watched it together in person, which obviously we'll get into. And then obviously previewing a, a big game tomorrow, you know, of course, against Sheffield United, uh, who obviously do very well at the moment. And uh, yeah, we'll obviously get into that when it comes to it. But I'm going to go through the comments uh, before I bring my dad in quickly. Um Big up Whisper and Hanno, they con commented, sorry, before the stream. Uh, Whisper says, come on, you hatters, absolutely. Uh, Hanno puts up the hatters, lovely. Um, and then Stephen says, evening, Ty, big up, big up yourself, big up yourself. Um, but yeah, obviously, like always, joined with my dad. How are we, dad? Yeah, all good. Are you? Yeah, I'm all good. I'm all good. Excellent. Um, Excellent. sound a bit bit dull out here. Um, I had to be up quite early this morning and I did literally wake back up, had like a nap and I woke back up like 15 minutes ago. So yeah, that's what's going on there. But um, dad, we got a win. We yep. finally got a win. I said, where's the first win coming from? Literally win the game straight after that. And yep. um, obviously we watched it together in the end because obviously we've done a watch along to the boxing as well. And dad, you, you shaving the beard, it worked, mate. It did work, so I've had to carry it on. I've had to carry it on, so you know, <laughs> freshly, freshly shaved that. Out. <laughs> oh, that See. is brilliant! But no, talk, talk to me about the lineup of that game. Obviously, I'll read it out for you. So, obviously, it was a uh, horror half in goal. Uh, the back three were Potts, uh, Lockyer, and Burke. Obviously, no Sonny Bradley, like we found out during the game due to personal reasons. Uh, Bell and Bree as the wing backs. Uh, Clark Campbell in midfield with Freeman ahead and Musgrave and Adebayo up top. Now, what I will say before you say your thoughts, a lot of people questioning Musgrave and Potts. Look what turned out to be. Yeah, exactly. You know? um, yeah, it's a decent lineup, expected. Um, apart from obviously Musgrave. But, um, I thought it was a good call. I thought he'd done all right. He did set the world alight, but I think he'd done all right. He, he looked decent enough. I think uh, Nathan Jones was saying earlier about uh, a loan play, you know, loaning players out. And he did say that, well, we, we, we feel we can start him in championship games. So obviously he's closer than, than the other people on loan who, who are potentially going on loan. Um, so they've still got any decisions to make. Uh, I, I probably would loan him out only because of the competition we've already got for strikers. Do you know what I mean? I don't think he'll get the, the game time. So it'd be better for him to go out alone, I reckon. But, um, yeah, it was good. You know, it's good to see Clark, Campbell and Freeman in the midfield. Um, Potts, you know, he's starting in that position because that's what the position that Naismith played in. We ain't got anyone to replace him. So, you know, yeah, it was a decent lineup. And it's good to see Berry back on the bench. Yeah, no, absolutely. No, definitely. Um, my thoughts on the lineup, you know, it was, you know, obviously I did say about potentially starting Piera, uh, but he is injured, I believe. So obviously that's why he weren't in in the mix for that. But other than that. Obviously, other than Musgrave as well, it's. I think it's pretty much what I said. Um, you know, maybe I'll put Bradley in, but you know, other than that, it's it's literally expected. Um, but let's 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 go into the first half, and um, 
yeah, very good in the first half. You know, the thing about this game is, is, is Swansea had a lot of possession, but mm. they weren't, you know, making anything count. Whereas we was when we had our chances, and obviously Campbell got got a goal in the first half, a uh, very good strike. And uh, yeah, what, what did you make of that goal? Obviously, the celebrations were, were limbs of us too. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it was a clinical strike. Um, you know, he's quite good at them long range strikes. I think discussed in the previous shows that I'd like to see him get, get a few more goals like that. And you know, he's gone and got one. Um, but yeah, they had lots of possession, but they weren't doing nothing with it. And the thing is, we were just more effective with our play, you know, just let him have that possession. You know, yeah. they're just going to be passing it around and, and just let him pounce on them and just play the way. That we can in that game. If the team's going to set up like that, then you have to basically counter. Um, but I thought we was good. We were confident, you know, um, especially without Bradley. Uh, Potts was the captain. I just, uh, you know, I just thought it was a brilliant performance first half. Well, you know, the whole match, but we, we just looked back to ourselves. Um and that's what people and and like I said to you before, you, you don't turn into a, a you know a rubbish team overnight. How good we was last season, considering all the injuries we've had, and we know everyone knows we've we've uh, bulked up the squad and uh, you know recruited very good players, and it, it is just a matter of time. And that's it. I think a lot of people are impatient in general nowadays. I think it's just boiling down to anything, you know, everything. So, but yeah, they look back to their old selves and, you know, winning the second balls, you know, defending well. Um, I was impressed. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you know, obviously, you know, this game, you know, if I had to sum it up, obviously we'll get on to the second goal. But like you said, it, it you know, it looked like how we did last season. You know, and and that's that's what we want to see. You know, or of course, um, and yeah, it was it was, it was a really good performance all round. Like like I said, possession doesn't doesn't matter. You know, if you're not taking your chances, you're not doing anything with it. It doesn't matter. And let's be real, that's what they were doing. You know, most of that, like we said while we was watching the game, was you know near their defensive area. So you know, you yeah. you also look at it like that. Well, obviously, going into going into the second half, uh, obviously made a few changes. Obviously, Morris come on for Adebayo, uh, Musco come off for Jerome, uh, and Osho come on for Freeman, all at the same time uh, with half an hour left. And um, yeah, Morris Morris was getting close, and then he eventually got a goal, um, very well taken goal, brilliant pass I thought by Jerome as well. I think you know that pass needs to be a little bit more credited as well if it's not already. Um, and and very good finish from Morris, wasn't it? Yeah, a really nice finish. Um, strikers finish. Yeah, definitely a great pass. They 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 worked well together. Them too. They re they they were very dangerous. And well, Jerome yeah. still because he, he's got that experience, and this is what we wanted to see from him at the start of last season, but we didn't really see it. You know, the, them passes. Um, you know that experience, and he's showing it every time he's on the pitch if he's on there for long enough he's, he's actually showing it you know so even if he started a game like now I'll be I'll be I'll be all right about that I'll be pleased about that yeah. um yes first goal for us um it, it, you know it wouldn't take long it's only a matter of time really um and that and that will set you know the ball rolling for him now I think he's gonna he's he's a confident player and I think that, you know, he could end up starting potentially now and bagging a few more goals because I'd be reluctant to uh, be dropping him, you know, because he scored. Yeah. You know, he looked dangerous. He's good at holding up the ball as well. Yeah. Um, and he's a different outlet to Adibayo in that sense, you know, because... He's not as tall and stuff, so people people kind of they're not 
marking him as tightly as they do. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased he started and I'm pleased he got his first goal. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and it's also good, you know, obviously, um, you know, I think we, we've said it before. Um, it's good that we've obviously got other attacking options now that can come yeah. in and, and score goals. Obviously, you know, like we said a lot of times, we have relying on Elijah a lot, a lot of times last season. So it's good that now we've now got, you know, other players doing that. Morris finally getting a goal. You know, I can, I can only see him getting more goals. To be quite honest, especially if he he plays like that, and I did sense. I, I think I did say to you during the game. I did sense when he had that chance when the keeper tipped it over. I did think he was going to score um, at some point. Yeah, you know, it, it was just one of them where you know it keeps happening. It keeps that it's eventually going to pull off, and you know, it's it, it start to to Luton has has been decent. Has been decent, you know. So it was always going to going to come at some point, and. Hopefully it does for others like Woodrow and that sort of thing. And I think it will. Yeah. I think it will. Um, definitely. But um, we'll go through some more comments. Um, and then obviously we'll do player ratings. The only annoying thing is about player ratings, I can't actually remember the website I used. And it's just not coming up with others, which is just annoying. Like, But there we go. Um, uh, evening ties, Dad. All good? You all good, Dad? Yeah, I'm all good. Big up. Is that Stefan or Stephen? Stephen. Yeah, no, no bird. A uh, beard. No <laughs> beard. Winning. That's, That's it. That's what I said. No bird. No beard equals winning. That's it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, big up Spencer. Says hey T Dad Hano and everyone else. Big up yourself, mate. Um, yeah, yeah. Dion triggered extension and Jones stated uh, will be uh, sent back out on loan. I saw that. Did actually see that. Um, uh, hello, Tyler, mate. It's Fletcher. I've seen yesterday. Didn't get much time. Still, you going tomorrow? Uh, I'm not going tomorrow. Uh, I'll be doing a watch along. So, yeah, mate. But big up yourself. Uh, Blue Terrier. He says, yo, big up yourself, mate. Um, well taken from Morris. Showed his man up. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Very, very good. Even that. yeah, that's true. The touch he done was... Yeah, he had a lot to do. That's what I mean. He had a lot to do, you know, and that, yeah. that that that's why I think you know you can see his quality, and that will give him more confidence because it weren't like it was just a tap in or whatever. Yeah. He had to earn it, and he you know he had to want it, and he did, and he it was his clinical finish. I liked it. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, it's it's a a win, and like we said, it. it you know, we looked like like we did last season, um, and yeah, it was it was a very nice win. But uh, yeah, like I said, I am trying to do player rate. I am trying to get a thing up, but I just I can't remember what it was. Next time, I'm definitely going to favour it, and then so I know from there on in. Yeah, that's it. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just annoying. So. You know, I'll try and look for it a bit more the next one. Um, but I suppose we'll just we'll just do it saying it because there's not really much else I can really do. Um, so we'll start off with Horahaf. Obviously, you know, when he did have to do something, which you know the proper big chance ones he had was was literally at the end of the game. Um, you know, he he done what he had to do. So what are you what are you going to give him? Well, like I say, he was hardly tested, really. And it's just, you know, he didn't have to try and do anything. So I'm just going to give him a six. Six. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, moving on to the next player. Uh, we'll go to Bree. What are your thoughts? My thoughts? Um... I don't really think he had, had too much to do from really what I can remember. So it was just it was just one of them. Mark, can you remember him doing a lot? I can't actually remember. No, him a lot. that's what I'm saying. But he wasn't him. bad. He wasn't bad. No, no, no. Um, but he's still got another gear to go. That guy. Um, mm. So I'll probably I'd probably I'll probably give him a, a six as well. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. 
Um, big up everyone doing it in the comments as well. Uh, seven, yeah, that's fair enough. I was thinking, yeah, I can see why. Seven. I can see why, but you know, we are just ultra strict. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bree seven point two. Yeah, like I said, you know, I just didn't. I can't remember him having to do much, to be honest. Um, not not that he done but bad or anything. He just didn't have anything to do, you know. Um, really. Uh, and then we'll move on to Bell, uh, the other wing back. Now, for me, again, did he really have to do much? I think no. I think he, he was he was he was pretty decent. Um, I think he defended quite well. He got forward when he could. Um, he's quite composed on the ball as well. Mm. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll probably give him a seven. So, I noticed him more in the game, yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely, if you're saying fair to Bree. But, yeah, actually, I remember him getting up the left-hand side a few times. Um, yeah. So, yeah, and try, you know, playing it back and, and that sort of thing and then trying to go towards the edge of the box, cross it in, etc. So, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Um, the next player will go to the back three, uh, Potts. Now, let's just be straight up. Oh, man in a match. Are you giving him a yeah. 10 or are you giving him a 9? Because that's most likely what it's going to be. <clears throat> you know what? Right. He, he was definitely in a man in a match. He was, he was, he was phenomenal. If he'd have scored that header, then I would have given him a straight 10. Side, yeah. But I'm giving him a 9 because he, he, okay. he was excellent. He was excellent. Like one of the best performances I've seen him in a Luton shirt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, he was winning all the headers. Um, yeah. He's making the right passes, you know, and he's always a threat going forward as well. And um, he was a captain, you know, he up, responsibility yeah. on it. Yeah, he stepped up, and you know, he's 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 earning his place in that team at the moment. And yeah, that's why he was in. And he's already you know. scored this season. <clears throat> Yeah, you know? yeah so, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Nine. If it had got that goal. The first yeah. league goal. Yeah. The first league goal for us as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah nah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Um, definitely agree on that one. Uh, what a performance from him. Like, it, it was actually ridiculous how good he was. Do you know what it reminded me of? It, remi it reminded me that him and Sonny Bradley, like they literally switched roles. Mm. It reminded me of Bradley away at Blackburn last year. Yeah, yeah, when he come on because he was injured yeah. for eight, a little while and then he come on at half time, didn't he? And he, he totally uh, stepped it up, playing the yeah. balls up, header and everything away. Yeah, literally. Um, yeah, no, definitely. Big up Visible Island. Uh, he said it puts the waving emoji. Big up yourself. Uh, Bell 7.2 held his man off quite well. That's true as mm. well. Um, Potts has surprised me this season. Yeah, he surprised a lot of people. Um, you know, he definitely surprised me a little bit as well. Um, I know he's a good, he, you know, he's another good option. But like my dad said, as he, you know, the way he's playing right now, he's he's a starter. And hence why that's why he was in previously as well, um, you know, towards the start of the season. Or at the start of the season, sorry. So, yeah. Pops eight. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And then Don, I don't know why that he's just put come to basic tabs with a load of load of uh, their colours and that. But um yeah, just quickly actually, obviously I know we talk about Luton, but um I didn't watch Champions League draw live, but Liverpool and Rangers are in the same group. Oh, are they actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Liverpool, Rangers, Napoli and it's a good group, Ajax. Yeah. Now when you talk about tradition, it's actually a decent group that. Um, but yeah, I just just wanted to get that in. Uh, next player, we'll move on to Lockyer. Another very good performance, I felt. Um, he's 400th as well, so what a good way to mark that, wasn't it? Yeah, considering like the, the kind of off, you know, all right, he scored against Newport, but he weren't great. Um, but he was good at times last season as well, you know. Um, yeah, he was. He's got a lot of experience. Yeah, and he did step it up, and he he was he was he was pretty decent as well. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll give him a seven. Seven, fair enough. Um, yeah, yeah, he was like I said, he's brilliant. For me, 
if you even do a second man in a match, I would probably go him. Like I said, he marked that 400th appearance very well. Um, so, yeah. And, you know, when you look at how he performed, does it potentially block out that Newport performance? Obviously, I know he scored a good goal, but defensively, does it block out that for him to potentially start? No, start, not, start yet. Him? not uh, yet. Not yet. No, I feel if Bradley's fit to start, then he'll probably start. You know? that's, yeah, that's fair enough then. That's fair enough. And the thing with Burke as well, he works very well with Bree. You know, we've said it numerous times. Sometimes she... Yeah. Um, Burke higher up the Bree because they cover each really... other as well. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Um, <laughs> Don, Don, you're a, you're a melt, mate. Uh, Liverpool Rangers big game. Yeah, it's going to be yeah, good. Be I'm good. actually I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, that's for sure. And even like Ajax away and that, you know, it's 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 a good ground. Um, Lockyer eight, fair enough. Yeah, like we said, you know. We just said why it could be difficult. But I definitely do see him starting a lot more this season. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I haven't... The only group I've seen is Liverpool's, mate. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, but, yeah. Less of the Champions League talk for now. Um, moving on to the other player, um, which was obviously Rhys Burton, the last defender. What what did you make of his performance? Um, yeah, he, he, he got stuck in... You know, I don't think he got forward. You know, again, he, he was like on the level of three or whatever. He just the thing is, um, Swansea done nothing attacking wise, really. No. Do you know? Like do you said, know what I'm saying? Only, like, the only chance they had for them. was that one right at the end, like good chance. Yeah, um, and everything that was going in there, Potts was dealing with. Do you know what I mean? So I saw that a lot, but yeah, you know, Burke wasn't bad. Mm. Um, I'd I'd give him a six, the same as Bray. Uh, yeah, I'd agree yeah. on that. I'd agree on that. Um, Burke, eight. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, so, yeah, that's the defence done. Uh, we'll move on to Jordan Clark. Now, for me, oh, no, this was the performance where he, right, I don't want this to sound bad. He was the worst player, but not in a bad way. You know, worst player out of the good players. Do you know what I mean? Everyone was good, but like he was the worst out of the lot in that aspect, in my opinion. There was a few times, you know, it weren't bad mistakes, but he, he did give it away a few times, I remember. Um, so, yeah. But what what did you make? What did you make? Yeah. Well, I don't think it was overly bad. I just, I, you know, I think he's still gaining his confidence. But, you know, and he's, he's trying to affect games and he's trying to maybe a bit too hard sometimes. I think that's all it is. It was an average performance, but, it, you know, it, it wasn't terrible. So, I'll probably just give him a six. So. Yeah. yeah no, average. I agree. Like I said, I don't, I don't mean he was poor, poor. Just everyone was good, but he was, you know, some of the passing. But it weren't bad. Like, it didn't it didn't matter. Obviously. It, it just it weren't matter. as effective as the other players. That's, that's Yeah, yeah that's, yeah. that's what I'm trying to say at the same time, yeah. Uh, Clark, 6.7. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, that's not bad. Uh, we'll move on to the uh, one of the other midfielders, which was Alan Campbell. Now, great performance by him yet again. I felt you know just getting stuck in every single game. All right, you know he's a, he's a nailed on player on the team sheet. We know that. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. He's he's nailed on. He, he's consistently performing harassing players, you know, winning the ball, fighting for the ball. Um you know, not you know breaking down their midfield con whoever we're playing. Um and coming up with a goal. The clinical finish. Um his future captain material, that guy. Um definitely. I'll, I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him uh I'm going to give him... Ooh, I'm going to give him an eight. I'm going to agree. I'm going to agree on that. I'm going to go over eight as well. Um, definitely. Definitely. Um, moving on, excuse me, uh, to the next player, uh, Freeman. What did you make of his performance? Me? 
Uh, I can't really remember too much. He come on, um, didn't he? Or was he starting? No, he did start. No, he did start. Well, there you go then. Um, it was, it was again. He was. It wasn't doing too much. Even some nice passes and stuff, but nothing like special. Um, it. I think it was. He was lucky not to get sent off. But you know, he drew. He did affect the game, as I said to you, um, because because of that silly tackle on him. You know, we reduced them to ten men. But um. Because he affected the game like that and it kind of it swung more in our favour and stuff. And, you know, it's a difficult one because he was a bit petulant. But I feel to give him a seven. Yeah. Because he, you know, I don't think because, that's bad. you know, if you're coming on and you're affecting the game in certain ways, like, all that, yeah, although he was a bit silly and he, he weren't like, he wasn't bad. Um, still put it in our favour, didn't it? Yeah. No, fair enough. I'm going to agree with you on that one as well. Uh, Stephen says, Campbell, 110% always. Uh, nine. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, Freeman didn't do much. Took about 6.7. Okay, so not too far off yours. Obviously, you said seven. Well, I, was, I went seven as well. So, yeah, that's the midfield um, that started. Now, the front two, uh, we'll start off with Musway. Now, a lot of criticism, like he seems to always get. You know, I, I know a few people that have always defended him. Me, you, you know, I'm not I'm not going to name everyone. But, you know, I think the criticism's a bit too far. And half of them look like idiots. Let, let's be honest now. Because, yeah, he wasn't, you know, he didn't score or anything. But he did look good. He did look good yet again. Um, yeah, I did. felt. Yeah. He definitely looked like good. Um, he was he was quite switched on. He was growing into the game. Mm. Um, he had that good chance as well. Um, people might have said, I oh, maybe should have tried to pass it to Adibo, but he couldn't really. By then, the defender was running across. So it's good, you know. He had that shot, but it was the pace and the turn that got away. That looked good. That's what we want to see. Um, Adibo is obviously very good at that. Um, I thought I thought he, I thought he had a decent game, and he was he, he affected the game. You know, they he, he was done some good passes, um, and he was he was involved a lot until we got taken off. So I'm going to give him a seven. Okay, fair enough. I'm going to go six point five, which I think is fair. Um, but yeah, I understand why you say seven. Definitely. Um, would it? Yeah. So you said seven, seven point four. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, that comment there, Reese. Uh, we'll get into it when we obviously go through the lineup, mate. Uh, and then the last striker that started was obviously Elijah Adebayo. Now, for me, I felt it was another unlucky game from him in the sense you know, he was getting fouled left, right, and center yet again. He was still causing threats, mm. you know. He, uh, a lot of people questioning, you know, said it on the last episode, a lot of people questioning. You know his determination and that sort of thing. You can tell he still wants to play for the club. Yeah, you know, it's hunger. Just, yeah, yeah, exactly. And even stuff like I don't know. Obviously, it's a little bit different, but still, like even the fact you know he's still one of the players. You know, look at yesterday, the thing that was going on. You know, he's one of the players there. Obviously, I know there probably are certain ones, but you know, he he looks happy. He looks fine. Like it, you can tell his determination still. Like just the way he's on the pitch. Now, what he's trying to do, like you said, it must be frustrating getting fouled left, right, and centre every game. Yeah. You know, especially when referees don't even notice it or don't notice it. It just makes yeah. it even worse. So I thought he was decent. Um, what did you make of his? Yeah, I thought he was, uh, yeah, I thought he was decent enough. He's, he, you know, he showed good touches. Um, he was showing his skill. He was a threat. It was just unlucky that he can, you know, get more chances really. But he definitely affected the play and he was definitely decent enough. I'll give him a seven. Yeah, no, I agree on that. I agree on that. A seven. Uh, and then the last ones we'll do, obviously, the uh, players that come on from the bench. We'll start off with Jerome. Uh, like we said, obviously, come on and got an assist. Um, like I said, it was a very, very good pass. I feel not, not a lot of people are talking about the pass. Obviously, the finish and touch, and that was brilliant mm -hmm. as well. But you know, like you said, their link-up was very good, uh, them two, that's for sure. 
so yeah, I felt it was a very good performance uh, from Jerome when he come on and he, he really did step up. Do you know what it reminded me of in the sense of how well he was doing? Uh, was was Huddersfield in the first leg. That's what it reminded me of. Um, but what did you make of it? Well, he's that kind of player, and he, like I said before, he's got that quality. He's got that 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 you know vision and stuff like like Snodgrass had for us when we had him for that brief period of time. So now it makes sense why we've kept him. You know, just because of of that, and he's still obviously fit enough. Mm. Even even like player half or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like. Right? Um, and he hundred percent affected the game. He, looked, he was decent, so I'm yeah. gonna, I'm giving him an eight. Eight. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go seven point five. I'm gonna go seven point five. Um, so yeah, uh, I didn't read this out. Obviously, I clicked on it, but I didn't read it out. Adebay looked be- better than any point in this season. So happy. Yeah, I would say I'd say definitely this game or, or yeah, he's getting there. He's the getting last there. He game just needs to score that goal. The game was it the game before? No, what game was it? Where he, oh, I can't remember. Can't remember, but I, I'm convinced there was another game where he, he, he was all. Right. Yeah, no, actually, it, I thought he was all right against Bristol City as well. He's like quite unlucky, you know. That shot he had in the first mm. half, yes, it was Bristol City. I was on about, um, but yeah, definitely this was the best one actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Jerome six, Jerome six. You reckon a little bit higher? Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, and then obviously the the uh, other goal scorer of this game. Obviously you mentioned the goal. Um, <clears throat> Morris. Now he looked very good. Yeah, again, like we said, good link up between him and Jerome. Very good finish. Like I said, I felt he was going to score. You know, after that first chance he originally had. So yeah, very good performance from him, wasn't it? Yeah, he looked very hungry, uh, sharp. Um, you can you can see it, um, and he wanted to score, you know. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. I'll give him a seven. Seven. It was. It, yeah, it was a good thing. Yeah, he just you know, if he started the whole game, then potentially, you know, he could have got higher, but. I'm going to go... Yeah, yeah, you might give him a bit more, but I'll just yeah. I'll give him... Yeah, 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 you know me. You know me. That's how you know we're, we're related out here. Yeah, I'm going to give him... So, did you give Jerome an eight? You did, didn't you? Yeah, so I'm going to switch... I'm going to give um, Morris an eight. Yeah, I know what you're saying, but for me, like... Yeah, no, I, I'm just I, saying... I'll tell, I'll tell you why, because Jerome yeah. su- supplied the pass, but he did still have a lot to do. Mm. But I just feel that... You know, Jerome done a few passes like that. He definitely uh, affected the game more, if that makes sense. So, say Morris come on with Cornick or someone, or so, yeah. and that's Woodrow. I don't think it potentially he might not have got that chance. Do you know what I mean? They've been trying to do things too similar and stuff. So, I've, I, that's why I gave Jerome the higher rate. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Um, like I said, with me putting Morris eight, you know, I could understand why people think that's a little bit too high. Can yeah, obviously, you know, if he was on longer, I mean, but you know, it's all opinions at the end of the day. Uh, and then the last uh, sub that happened um, was was obviously Osho. Um, I can't really think of him it, having to do much, really. No, exactly. You know, I like Osho. Um, I presume did he go? Did he go in midfield or? Uh, yes, I believe. Yeah, I believe. See, that's what I'm saying. He's got that versatility. Um, yeah, and he was just there to, to, you know, sit at the back a little bit in front of the defenders or whatever, and he just done his job, you know. So mm. it is what it is. So I'll just give him a six. Yeah, oh, I'm going to agree with that. I'm going to give him a six as well. Um, big up Taylor says, Yes, lads, big up yourself, mate. And um, Stephen says, Oh, show 6.5. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, yeah, there you go. That's the player ratings. Um, obviously, we get Potts the highest. And uh, like we said, that's our man in the match. You know, he, he was solid. You know, he took over that armband very well. And, you know, he was just headering everything away. Like I said, it reminded me of Sonny Bradley away at Blackburn uh, last season. And the, there was a few other games. But that's the one that always stands out, considering it as my first league game as well. 
Uh, mad to think that, but in a way, anyway. Um, but yeah, there's that. Obviously, we, we got a win, Dad. It was good to see. Like we said, we looked like that playoff team uh, again that we did last season. And we, we was loving it. We was absolutely loving it. It was Lim's way, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah, it's good. And, you know, I'll point out the fact that it was away as well. Mm, yeah. you know, it was it was away. So that's 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 a big confidence booster for us because we know we're good at home. Mm. Yeah. Obviously, it hasn't quite happened yet at home, but it will. It, it will, it will be. It, it yeah, definitely exactly. will be. 100%. Um, Taylor says, Potts is too uh, hating, man. It's painful. Yeah, it is. It is. You know, what people need to remember as well, and they need to remember it with a lot of our players, is a lot of them could, have, in my opinion, could have easily, you know, left the club because of lack of game time. Um, I think Potts is one of them, obviously, you know, beforehand, especially a lot last season. Like, his first game wasn't until Middlesbrough at home. I remember it. And I, I honestly, I'll be honest with you, like, I thought that was going to be his last game. Because mm. he got a yellow card in the first half, he come off at half time, and it just wasn't too great. It wasn't yeah. too great in that scenario. And then, and then I think he started playing on towards the end of it, and he was all right. So, yeah, same with I said as well. In this in situation where he could he could have eased or he could, you know, he could go somewhere. Else. Well, obviously, maybe not now with the lack of goalkeeper options, but you know, stuff like that. I think people need to put a little bit more respect on our players' names. Um, that's that's what I reckon. But do you agree on that one, Dad? Yeah, definitely. Um so yeah, but yeah, enough said about that. Obviously, oh, one second. Know, minute, yeah. yeah, no worries. Obviously, felt felt nice to get a win um, you know, about time. And you know, hopefully we'll kick on now. Obviously, we're we're gonna preview that game tomorrow. Um, and just a reminder why my dad's not here. I will be doing a watch along. Um, I'll not be going to it, like I say, difficult right now. Uh, what's you know, pay out for other things and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I will be doing a watch on as it is on Sky TV. So if any of you don't go and want to tune in, then feel free. Um, that would be much appreciated. But, um, yeah, that's what's going on. First game, uh, at Kenworth Road under the lights. Do you know what I mean? Um, of the season and obviously we know how good we were last season under the lights um, you know e even away at some points I remember Red in away 2-0 you know so it's going to be a very tough one though it's going to be a very tough one of course Sheffield United uh, currently top of the league uh, won their last two games you know um, what was it they lost yeah won their last two games uh, obviously, their season so far, I'll take out the League Cup game. Obviously, I lost to Watford first game of the season, which was very disappointing. Me and my dad watched that. Um, and good timing, literally just got back. We watched that game. Uh, just, just doing a little summary of Sheffield United season so far from what I've seen. The Watford game, like I said, we watched that. And it was, it was disappointing from Sheffield United, I felt. Even mm. a lot of their fans would probably say that. I felt they were very... I would say lackluster, and they just weren't really doing like they weren't really putting their foot. Like, was that, that was that Watford, Watford as well, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First game of the season for them, the Monday night game it was. Um, but yeah, that was disappointing. Uh, and then they beat Millwall at home uh, two 0 which was a good win considering Millwall got a win in their first game two 0 against Stoke, I believe it was, and they looked really good from what I saw. Um, and we know Sheffield United are one of them teams, especially away from home. We all know from last season uh, that they're a good side at home. So, you know, fair play there. Um, and obviously, they got, a, a, I would say, a decent point, despite where Middlesbrough are now. I would say that's a decent point, because I think they'll turn it around. Um, and it's not an easy place to go again, Middlesbrough's ground. Um, look at their FA Cup run, for example, you know, last season and, and that sort of thing. And then, obviously, the beat, uh, like I said, the won their last two games. I uh, did watch their game against Sunderland. They d did deserve to win that, to be fair. And um, that was Sunderland's first loss of the season as well. Um, so, you know, Sheffield United were the team to, to end that. And then, obviously, uh, beat Blackburn 3-0, uh, which was the last game. Uh, two back-to-back 3-0 -back defeats for Blackburn. 
but you know, very good win um, for them. So, like I said, the top of the league as it stands. So it's not going to be an easy one. Obviously, last season when we played them, it was nil nil at home. Um, I remember that game. It was. Well, I briefly remember it. To be fair, it's one where we just we just couldn't score that game. I, I think we was all right defensively from what I can remember, but we just couldn't couldn't get that goal in. And then obviously the other the other game uh, that was that was uh, disappointing away day. Um, I felt sorry for everyone that went to it. Two 0 loss. Uh, Burke uh, got red card in that. As soon he had to do it though, and it was one of them where as soon as he got it, he knew the game was done. Um, so, yeah, but Dad, how are you feeling going into this one? I'll say first game under the lights, we, we mm. did well there, especially even away at times last season. Well, in general, I'm feeling pretty confident. Mm. Um, their, their way format isn't great. Um, our home form is decent. We need to pick up that first win. Uh, you know, on Fridays on Sky, we we don't tend to do well. <laughs> but, you know, we've got a good record against, you know, at home recently. We've got a half decent record against them at home. Um, Nathan Jones touched on it in his, his uh, press conference where he, he was saying, like, that there was the stats saying that I can't remember exactly what it was maybe say it's about the most points won in uh, 2022 or something um, was them and us we were second or something so he was like saying yeah they've got all the money and this that and the other but you know we've we've you know we're, we're just behind them oh that yeah, makes yeah, sense. yeah 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 so, awesome. so um, yeah, I know what bit you're on about and I agree I agree with that um I mean I'm not sure we should feel that they've had easier games than us. And they did look poor against Watford. They they they, they did. did. Um yeah. no, it's a good like point. They gave them they too much respect. Well yeah, they haven't won away. Um, um, true. They've got a couple of injuries. We're just sort of stepped up. We we're gonna be confident. So I feel that we're going to get something out of the game. Mm. Yeah, I'm just looking at their injury list now. It's it's actually mad. I thought ours was bad. Theirs is mad. So they've got uh, Bogle out, Davies out, O'Connell out, Osborne, Robinson, Sharp and Stevens, and then potentially Clark. So they've got a massive injury list. Um, so definitely see what you're saying there. But, um, yeah, uh, Big Up Spencer says, be sure to like and subscribe. Yeah, please do if you haven't already. Uh, I'm going to say this now. I don't believe in us tomorrow. I'm nervous, says Taylor. He's nervous. And and I'll just point out, as uh, that game we talked about last season, they actually came there to defend. Sure. True. They, they, they would frustrate the game. I remember it. They were time wasted and all sorts. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if they've got the same manager, but if they've got the same manager, he's probably going to probably still come with that that same kind of ethos. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm quite confident we can get a result. Yeah. I understand why he's nervous, definitely. You know, top of the league at the moment. For me personally, I reckon they'll get top three, um, personally. So, you know, I understand why he says that, but... You know, my thoughts, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm not confident, but I'm not, it's it's a bit 50-50, really, because um, obviously they are do, doing well at the moment, but then there's stuff like you say, you know, we're at home, and like I say, you know. Well, I'll tell you something you know, else as well. Apparently, Cornick's, Cornick's available. So, oh, really? Yeah, so I don't think he'll start, but I think he'll be on the, the bench That's and then look option. at the different oh, option yeah exactly look at the different options we've got if and they've got to be able to cater for, cater for all yeah. of them yeah exactly so you know we've got that pace there we've, we've got threats now yeah, like different exactly. kind of threats um so and we're at home so 
predicted yeah. potentially. Yeah, we're we're definitely going to get a result. Yeah, fair enough. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I understand why. Um, why you say that? But like I say, there's stuff we, for me that you've got to be you've got to be confident with. You know, um, with the fact that you know, like I said, we're a very good side at home, especially under the lights. I uh, remember a lot of emphatic wins last season, Coventry, or even games where we didn't look great and we still got a win, like Bristol City at home. I remember that. Mm. Barnsley at home, you know. So, you know, you've you got to look at that as well, I feel. Um, and like we say, that home record will start getting to the levels of last season, I reckon. And I'm sure you do as well, Dad. Um, at some point, very soon. Uh, Spencer says, up the hatters. No, absolutely. Um, love the Kenny under the lights here. Yeah. Facts. Facts. Um, Reese makes a good point here as well. He says, Taylor, we perform against the top teams. We do. We do definitely a lot better than you know, the lower sort of teams. Um, David, you know, we'll be at Huddersfield versus West Brom. Interesting. Interesting. Um, uh, what other ones are there? Yeah, 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 yeah. I did not go to that one. That was one of them games I've done it a few times last season where I didn't get my ticket in time, and then by the time I was gonna get it, I couldn't. Um, let's make the uh, Kenny a fortress again. No, absolutely, absolutely, definitely. Uh, big up Kenny says, Yo. A quick promo uploading my prem prediction. I did actually see a bit of that. Well, I say a bit, I saw like the first minute. Um, then I had to do something. Uh, Cornet won't be fit to start. You're right. Um, Taylor says, Anyone know when Dale T is available? Excited to see what he brings to the team. It'd be interesting. Well, apparently, apparently, he's fit as well. He's, he's ready as well. But that, again, I, 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 he used to play for him. Did he used to play for him or was it Freeman? A Freeman. Freeman did. Uh, Doherty right. was... I don't know where Doherty was. That sounds bad because we literally just got the guy. But no, I know Freeman was definitely at Sheffield United. But um, yeah, again, got them options. Possibly he'll be on the bench instead of if he's, you know, fit enough to play some par. Then he'll probably go ahead of four. That's it. Um, we got yourself, we Taylor. Barry. Taylor knows it was. Yeah, he remembers. Yeah. Um, yeah, Charlton, Stoke and Cardiff. That was it. That was right. it, yeah. Um. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kenny says, loot and one nil win. That would be nice. I'll take that. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, take that. Um, Bristol at home was paid. Yeah, I... I think that was the game or Barnsley. I put in the vlog or wins a win. So that's how mm. you know it wasn't convincing. But I wasn't, I, I know a lot of people are negative after that. But what you had to remember at that time as well, Barnsley were literally fighting for their lives. You know, when you play them sort of sides, it's not going to be easy, is it? So, especially, you know, when they're awake, so they're just going to try and dig deep. And, you know, you've seen it even when we've played a few teams, you know, early on here, you know, you know what they're going to try and do. Um, 2 1 would be lovely coming you at us. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, uh, Doherty is still is training, still being looked at, so never know. Yeah, the thing is, obviously, you know, I know me and my dad are on the same wave, wavelength with this. Obviously, when he comes back, love to see him, you know, come on. Um, but if he is to start, I would put him in midfield. Uh, for me personally, there's he can't go ahead of Bell, in my opinion especially no. with how good and consistent Bell's been. I feel that would be very harsh if he just got thrown out of the team like that. So, yeah, that's that's what I will say about that one. A fellow Londoner. <laughs> nah. um, but, yeah, Dad, obviously, you know, we've said our thoughts, how we're feeling going into it. So, uh, yeah, what we'll do now is obviously we'll do lineups and uh, that sort of thing. And just, just quickly while we do that, we have seen to bro break that uh, voodoo of, of not doing great on TV. Um, so, yeah, we haven't we haven't got that to worry about. Because I remember when we kept playing, 
I mean, it's like, oh, we're on TV. We're not, we're not overly confident. But yeah, we haven't obviously a lot, of, lot of times, especially towards the end last season, where we was on TV as well. Um, so, yeah, but formation, Dad. What, what do you reckon? What do you reckon we'll go with tomorrow? Probably the same as we've been going with. Which is this type of one, isn't it? Let me just share it. That one, if you can see that. Did it come up yet? Yeah, that one. Yeah. So with the cam and wing backs and, and that sort of thing. Um, Stephen's gone with the same 11 at Swansea. Well, let's go through it. Uh, you know, together, Dad, like we always do. Obviously, in goal, and straight forward, Ethan. Orvath. I've said it right for once. Yeah, that's, um, that's <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll move on to the right wing backs. Obviously, uh, oh, the wing backs. Sorry. Uh, obviously, three, of course, uh, and obviously Bell. Now uh, straight forward. Annoying thing is, he's always at the bottom of here. There you go. Uh, and in the back three, definitely go Potts. We've got yep. you after that last game, uh, without question. Uh, Bradley and Burke, I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm Bradley. Th uh, yeah, Bradley. Bradley would be back, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Would you potentially go somewhere, someone else? Or would you? I'd, I'd go Bradley, there? but I'm... I'm tempted to go for Lockyer Locky. as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, do you know but, but Burke hasn't, you know, in Newport he wasn't great. There's a couple of games where he weren't great. Mm. Bristol City wasn't great. Do you know what I mean? Like and I feel like mm. Lockyer hasn't really done anything wrong. In Newport he can as well, but I, I, I you know, he he it was between him and Burke last season. They kept fighting it out, didn't they? So I feel yeah. it's going to be a bit of that. I, I'd start Lockyer. on. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I, was, I would not be disappointed with that at all. Um, I just thought, you know, the, the, the right side link up. But I understand why you say that. You know, it's And it's a bit more there. defensive as well. Like, I feel like we... Yeah. I know we're at home, but we know that they've got dangerous players as well. And I yeah, feel like yeah, he's a bit more defensive. Do you know what I mean? So then three at the back, if they're on point, then no one's getting past them. Yeah, no, facts, facts. Um, but yeah, we'll move on to the midfield. Uh, so obviously, you know, a regular Alan Campbell. That's not it's not a uh not a uh, question, what I was trying to say. Um, and then the other midfielders, who do we go with? Um, you know, the, this is the thing, man. Like, I don't know if I'd keep Clark in there, mm, give yes. him a little bit of a break. Um, and then possibly, it's difficult, probably, probably be Barry. Well, you're going to go with Berry on the right yeah. midfield. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be disappointed with that. Um, not at all. Not at all. Uh, and then, as the cam, are we going to go Freeman? Yeah, definitely. Like former club. Yeah, he's going to yeah, be wanting to prove the point. Sense, yeah, he's going to be. I wouldn't be surprised if he if he scores. To be honest. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's a few comments. Osho instead of Clark, potentially. Maybe, but then they'd probably have to change the midfield a bit. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah, Campbell and yeah, Osho is like quite defensive. Yeah. Berries like box to box. Um, mm. well, no, fair that. enough. Fair enough. And then the front, uh, the front two. Difficult. I would probably go. Oh, it's difficult. It is actually difficult. Jerome and Morris were so good the other day. Adebayo's he's just unlucky, in my opinion, at this current moment in time. Um, 
it does look like Musgrave is going to get loaned out, but even if he doesn't, it's still another option. Like I said, we wouldn't start Cornick, but he's, he's another option to come on from the bench. But starting, I'm going to go... I'm going to go Morris and Adebayo again. Yeah. Personally. Um, do you agree but with They that? switched sides, didn't they? Did you find that... In, like, Adebayo yeah, was actually, actually on, on the right. So, I think that could potentially happen again. Yeah, do you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. And obviously, Morris got his goal from the left side. And I know Adebayo yeah. was on that side. But, yeah, no, definitely. Definitely, yeah. No, I'm going to go with that. Yeah, good good shout. Um, but yeah, obviously that's the uh, lineup that we would go with. So obviously the five two one two with Horvath in goal. Keep getting it right. About time. Uh, back three of Potts, Bradley, and Lockyer. Uh, the left backs. At, no, sorry, the wing backs. Uh, Bell and Bree. Uh, midfield of Campbell, Berry, and Freeman just ahead, and then Morris and Adebayo up top. So that's the lineup we would go for. Um, it's that time, Dad. School predictions. We're on TV. We're under the lights for the first time this season we're against Sheffield United, who, you know, are top of the league. Not a great away record, but yeah. How do we see this one going? Uh, it's, I'm swaying. I'm swaying because. The other teams that were setting, you know, Blackburn, they lost. Other te- you know, I think Sheffield United have already lost actually as well. I feel like it, the championships like this, and uh, I think we're going to edge it. You know, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I actually do. Nice. So I'm going to go two one Luton. Nice, nice. I like that. I like that. Uh, before I do mine, I go through some comments because a lot of comments. Big up yourselves. Um, shout out to Paul. He says, All the best, Luton Town from a Celtic fan. Big up yourself, mate. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for that. Uh, I'm saying same 11. Yep, fair enough. Uh, you know, the bat uh, from Swansea, I'm guessing. Morris and Musgrave. Potentially, I just me personally, I don't know if Adebayo will get dropped. No, nah. personally, um, but yeah, fair enough. Uh, and like I said, it, with this Musgrave potentially going out on loan, I'm just not sure if he'll start um, in that aspect. Um, two one uh, Sheffield says Taylor. Like I say, he's not confident. He's not confident. Uh, Jackie says good lineup. Thank you very much. Uh, Spencer you. says 2 1 Hatters, the same as you, Dad. Um, thoughts on the draw? Briefly touching it earlier. Obviously, I won't touch on it too much because it is about Luton, but I only saw Liverpool's, and that's a very traditional club tour, sort of group. Um, I'm looking forward to see seeing all of that, them games, um, that's for sure. But yeah, my school prediction how do I see this one going? Now, I think the last three games I've said 1 1. Or two games, sorry. Mm. Um, this one, I'll say there's there's pros and cons to it, you know, in the fact that, you know, we, we, we tend to do well under the lights. We don't have that TV voodoo anymore. But then again, there's stuff like, and, and Sheffield United don't have a great away record as it stands. We actually have a fairly decent record against them, like the dad mentioned earlier. Um, but then there's stuff where top of the league, obviously it might not last for long, but you know, they they'll they'll have confidence. I'm we gonna perform, go we perform better against the bigger teams as well. Remember that? Yeah, that was yeah, Ree said that earlier, didn't he? As well. Yeah, there is that. There is that. Oh, yeah, this is tough. This is tough. Usually I think of my scores beforehand, like do championship predictions and that, but I haven't quite done them yet. I'm going to go... Do you know what? Do you know what? I, every time I say 1-1, one, one, like I said, I said 1-1 one, one the last two games and they, none of them have been 1-1. One, one. Bristol City and Swansea. 1-0 Luton. And we get us. I'm gonna say we win. Get that famous one 0 win. Um, 
you know, I, w- I was, I'll be honest, I was thinking nil-nil, the same as last year. But no, I do think someone will score. I do think someone will score. But then again, I will not be surprised um, if if they score either. But I'm going to go over 1-1. I'm going to go over, uh, 1-0, sorry. A 1-0, sorry. So, yeah. Uh, Liverpool got the bogey team. Napoli, yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. But like I say, tr- very traditional group, that. Um, <laughs> Champions League Luton show. I think not. Well, hopefully <laughs> one day that would be. Never that. know. Episode oh, 5,025. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Um, Taylor obviously loving the fact that um, all the Rangers player playing in um, Royal Blue and all that. It's giving me Birmingham vibes saying Royal Blue. Um, but, yeah, there you go. That is that is the... Um... Goal scorers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How do I keep forgetting? I said to you about doing this, and I keep forgetting. Uh, goal scorers, who are you going to go with? I'm going to go with Freeman and Morris. Okay. Yeah, that, they're not bad shouts. You know, I think Morris will, of course, have a lot of confidence now, and I think he'll, he'll really kick on now and, and get more goals, like I said earlier, definitely. Um, and then Freeman, obviously, you know, against his former club. So, fair enough. Um, what about their goal? No, 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 just say a random player, mate. I have no idea, mate. Definitely not Bruce. So many injuries, isn't they? Yeah, exactly. Well, actually, I say that he scored lots. Um, of them, Rarely scores scores against us. Sweet. You know, maybe we sh- we should start um, looking at the opposition, like you know, potential lineups as well. Not like reading it out, but you know, but. Um, have now look at their danger players, etc. Yeah, no, definitely going forward. Well, yeah, I don't know. I'd say, I'd say some you know, header from midfield or something like that. Fair enough, some little dodgy up goal. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Uh, as for me, obviously, I said one nil. Who's going to be that person to, to score that goal? It's going to be Elijah, mate. I'm telling you now. Yeah. That'd be, be, that, that'd be decent. That'd be decent. So, yeah, because like I said, last two games, he stood out. Like, as in, like, not stood out, been better than anywhere else in that aspect. I, like, I just think he's been unlucky, mm. especially Bristol City in that first half. You know, that shot he had from distance, unlucky. Um, obviously, against uh, Swansea, you know. Like I said, when you're getting fouled left, right and centre, that's frustrating. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So, he has, you can tell the determination is still there, like we said. So, yeah, I reckon he'll score. Third time lucky in that sense. I reckon he'll score the goal at home. Yeah. So, that's that's what I'm going for. Um, uh, Campbell to score, you reckon, Bruce? I mean... I say that, but he did score against us last year, didn't he? Uh, one of his rare goals. Um, yeah, hopefully not. Hopefully not. Uh, Campbell to score, that would be good again. That would be good again. Two out of two for him. That would be that would be nice. Um, and yeah, a lot of people a lot of people are surprised you've gone with Freeman. Like I said, I understand why you do. Obviously, against the former team. Um, and then obviously, Stephen with the little, he's mad yet, you know. But... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so there you go, people. There you go. That is the um, Swansea game reviewed and the um, Sheffield United game previewed. So, yeah, it's been a good one. It's been a good one. Big up everyone that's tuned in. And, uh, yeah, that's been episode 54 of the Hatter Show. Like I said, I will not be going to the game tomorrow. Uh, We'll be doing a watch long row. Um, What time is the game, actually? Is it 8 o'clock or 7.45? 7.45, I think. I know it is eight. It is eight o'clock. So eight, I'll go live yeah. at ten. Yeah, I'll go live at ten to eight or round about then. Um, so yeah, and I will be doing Premier League predictions tomorrow as well. Uh, I'm not too sure what time yet. Obviously, I'll schedule and promote them and that sort of thing. Big up everyone that's put eight. Uh, cheers for that. But um, yeah, don't forget to smash a lot on the stream if you haven't already. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. And uh, big up everyone that's. Uh, you know, the average view duration of this video has been 10 minutes. So, big up yourselves for that. 
And um, yeah, if you're watching on playback, please do smash a like as well. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and all of that. And share the channel. Uh, subscribe to my other channel, T Boys TV Extra, as well. Like I said, I'm going to be getting uh, someone to someone's offer to, uh, you know, do the clips, you know, save me doing them and, and that sort of thing. So hopefully there'll be a few uploads on there soon. And if you want to follow me across any of my socials, link to them are in the description. And um, yeah, all of that. And like Taylor says here, enjoy your night, lads, and yourself, mate. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah. Remember the bell. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So you never miss an upload or a scheduled stream. Um, big up Steven says, nice stuff, guys. Big up, big up yourself. Uh, been been literally commenting the whole time. So big up yourselves. Uh, thanks, guys. See you tomorrow, T. See you tomorrow, mate. Um, I try stream from Kenny N. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, and then up the hatters. No, absolutely. But um, yeah, and there'll be a hat show soon as well, probably Monday or Sunday. Uh, probably Monday, actually, because we play again on Tuesday against Cardiff away. So we'll obviously discuss this game and then preview that game as well. So until next time, guys, we'll see you in a bit. Dad, you got any final words? I'm guessing you don't. Um, just keep the faith. Yeah. And enjoy it. Enjoy the game tomorrow. And hopefully that beard comes in clutch again with another double. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> that is it. But um, yeah, pick up yourselves and until tomorrow. And then obviously Dad will see you on Monday. We'll see you lot in a bit. So take care and peace. Peace.